guys, um, we're going to be making something like this lightning um, with the logo there. You don't have to put the logo if you just want the lightning. Anyway, so making something like that. Um, to make the lightning, it's basically just the brushes I downloaded off um, DeviantArt. I think it's DeviantArt. That's probably it. Anyway, I looked up Gimp brushes, I think it is. I haven't done it in ages. I just saw them there. And same with these clouds here but and this toilet, which I don't know why I just used a lot, and all these other brushes. Um, so, yeah, there's heaps of lightning stuff here. Um, so I'm not going to say I made them all because I downloaded them off Deviant. Uh, dot com. You can go there. I'll put a link in my um in the information on the site or the description. Same thing. Um. So yeah. All right. Control and make a new one. Um. Whatever size is your background. Ooh, it doesn't even have to be a background. It can be a banner or anything. All right. Um. That was. Sure. I should have made that. Oh, I can just control comma. All right. Also, with the last one, uh, the last tutorials I've been doing, um, you probably can't hear me too well. Sometimes I'll be muttering. Um, slightly, it's slightly my fault. Like I'm a bit of a mumbler, but also the microphone because I'm using my laptop is just on the screen, so it it it's above the screen, so um, you won't be able to hear me too well. And yeah. So I think I'm getting a new microphone soon, and that'll probably be helpful. All right, let's get the whatever you call it, um lightning. That's it. All right, press X or you can press this thing here. I usually just press X when because it's shock I think. So X and it does that. It switches the colors around. All right, um, Control L the layers, create a new layer, make it sure it's transparent. All right. I usually just use the same one lightning brush as long as no one notices because it's a big one and it works quite well. Alright, so actually I'll, I'll make this full screen so I can go outside the border or I could just zoom out. But Alright, so basically just pl placing it all around. Make sure you don't just put them right next to each other like this so you, c so you notice that you doubled it up. Like just here, it's the same as there and there and up there. So I'm doing that. Um, see here and here, a bit doubled up. Alright, so I try to do the back there. Um, Alright, so just fill it around. They're a bit the same, but you won't really notice it too much because I'll put other br brushes over the top as well. Um, I don't really, uh, that's definitely noticeable. These two this looks like a BMX um, handlebar for black. So they both look, they're very noticeable and stand out because they're very thick. Alright, so I don't have that one there. Just have them uh, not on the edge. Mm. Right, I'll grab another brush now. Control B to open the GIMPs or whatever. Uh, what would you call it? Docklet. I'm not too good with computers. I'm just. I don't. Know. All right. Let's go. Brushes down here. Okay. Oh, it was lightning, wasn't it? It's here. Very forgetful person. Alright, um, um, yeah, just around there. Alright, control B again. Change it around if you bit, give it some varieties. Also, don't use this for like commercial use and that, because I'm not sure if they said I could use this or whatever for that. Um, I think it's for private use only, but I'm just showing you how to do this, so I'm not really doing anything against that. And if I am, I'll probably just take this video off and yeah, stuff like that. Alright, um, that should do it for now. Press Control L and duplicate this layer, so this one down here, so it copies it, blends it, whatever. Alright, merge this one down so it's onto the black because you can't change the color of this bottom one. I mean, the transparent one without the black. I have no idea why. I'm not very, well, as I said, I'm not very good with computers. I've been doing this long, so. And my school doesn't really provide stuff to help me. Like, it's not the best. Oh, it's a pretty good school. It just doesn't have the best facilities and classes. I used to be in one, but I didn't like it so much. So, yeah. Uh, um, we'll make it. Usually it's like purplish. Purplish. Um, 
Mm. Actually, I should have blurred that a bit. Uh, control L. Control Z. Actually, no, that would be fine. Um, right, because I've already done it before. Um, this I've done I think four tutorials in a row, so it'll still have that. But I'll change. I'll just show you. Um, blur Gaussian blur, and probably three or something. Oh, my computer's going a bit slow. Probably three or something. Yeah, I don't know. Five. And yeah, that'll do. Alright. Control B. That has no help. Alright, go colors, color balance, and just choose the colors. Alright. Purplish. It won't have. Uh, it is. Mm. Choose what I've color. You can even have green lighting for some random stupid reason. You can if you want. Doesn't matter to me. I won't be looking at it. Um, that'll do for now. Oop. Yep. Alright, um, control L. I'll probably see if that one needs any more blurring structure there. Yeah. Um, actually, control L. Yeah, okay, please. Control Shift F so you can do it. Yep. Three. Control Shift F. Actually, nah, that'll probably just ruin it. Alright, uh, that'll do, so just. Uh, all my shortcuts aren't working. Control M should be merge all the other shift in. No. Alright. Uh, yeah, you should be able to go Control M and then press Enter because it comes up with a little dialogue. Um, I can't remember what it says, but yeah, it when you press OK, it merges all the layers down. It has a few options, but I'm not sure what they are. Anyway, so. Make a new layer. I've put my logo thing that we're going to make transparent into a, a brush, but that won't help because you guys don't, well, some of you guys might not know how to do that, so I'll just open it up. Um, when you make that button logo, make, because that's my first tutorial, um, when you make that, make one in an XCF file um, for anyone that is transparent. Um, so you can just get the fuzzy select tool and click on the outside, control I, control C, and control V. So you can just easily do that. Um, Alright, now control L and make the opacity. Oh, I'll just click that. So, yep. Opacity, whatever you want. Maybe if you just want to see the lightning, maybe if you want to only just see the logo itself. In the middle, doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, that'll do for me. And merge down and save it as. Also, when you go go save, um, save it as I don't know lightning light dot jpg. So it's a jpg, or you can do bmp, which is bitmap. Um, because usually background. Well, I haven't seen any. They don't have XCF because when you just save it straight away, it goes to XCF, and that you can't set that in the background when you press XCF. So yep. So basically, you've just made this. All right, that'll do for now, won't it? Thanks, guys.